Frozen. Texas. Frozen. Frozen. I'm finding. Frozen. I don't, listen, I'm 104 years old. Let my it go, son, buddy. My Let son is go. 33. Let it go. That's the Jimmy song. Jimmy White Jr., whose daughter, Matt... Uh, and they just... She's a fan of Frozen? So that's I why mean, they painted it that way? Frozen is a, a drink to me, but... I know that comes as a shocker. Oh, yeah. Alerny. Glenn Simonon, Alerny. 40 <laughs> laps to be the distance for the Grand Enduros. Glenn Simonon, car number 11, leads him down the back straightaway. But here comes Jimmy the Kid White Jr. He's frozen in time. Oh, they're three wide. Red Fog in the 42X and the 73 of Dave Antos. Antos, the defending Grand Adorn. And this basically, although it's the first race of the Sizzling Summer Series, there are no eight-cylinder Enduro cars here. White up the backstretch will take the race lead. Gregory Harris with a move to the outside in car number 55. Looks to come to third. And the uh, the Eric Zagalone machine under attack, though, from one of the all-time leading winners of Grand Enduros, Greg Zaleski, a physical education teacher in the Bayport High School system, as well a former soccer coach. He comes to third. Harris to, set to fourth. Antos fifth. And you can ride Space Mountain because it's open all night long. Jimmy the Kid White Jr. leads the way. Glenn Simonon with a blue pill. Car number 11, second. Greg Zaleski. Alerty. Car number 18 sits third. Good battle for fourth. It's Dave Antos is to the inside of Gregory Harris. Glenn Simonon, that number 11, running second, under attack from the Peconic Sign Company, number 18, third place, Greg Zaleski. Simonon. Still holding that second spot with 17 to go. And he's fortunate in as much as Zaleski is under attack from Dave Antos while Greg Harris runs fifth in the 55. White has a great run in that 17 car. Simonon, big loose off turn two. That backed everybody up and allows Antos in the 73 to take a look to the inside of Zaleski. And Antos indeed comes to third. Simonin in the 11 still holds second. Jimmy the Kid White Jr. in the meantime is a straightaway ahead of his nearest rivals as Antos puts the pressure on Glenn Simonin for second. And Antos rim rides the outside of Simonin. Simonin's car with a push off turn two, but he's able to thwart the effort for the moment of one day of Antos. Antos wheeling, dealing to the outside. Problem is, no matter who gets by who, catching Jimmy the Kid White Jr., it's going to almost be impossible at this point. 29 laps down. Antos to second as Simonon slipped off turn number two.
White flag flies for Jimmy the Kid White Jr. who has frozen this entire field. And in dominating fashion as the dueling checkered flags fly, Jimmy the Kid White Jr. takes down the win. It's a party at Tom Gatz's house. It's Sean Elwood's birthday tomorrow. Oh, I think my invitation got lost in the mail. Yeah, mine too. I think Tom Gatz's invitation got lost in the mail too. <laughs> But we can go to Gatz's house. He has a big house. Yeah. Happy birthday to John Elwood. What's he, 90 now? Oh, uh, he's getting old. He's getting old. If someone could open the gate for Bob Finan, that would be great. Anyone? Someone? Anyone? Mr. Lonely. I'm Mr. You Lonely. Should, you should sing an Elvis song. Maybe Jeffrey Rogers can get it open for you. Look, he's look got at, those skinny fingers. Look, at, look, that is good. My knuckles are thicker than his arms. <laughs> Jimmy the Kid White Jr., the Busy B Best Control, number seventeen. Thank God for Jeffrey Rogers. And as Jimmy the Kid White Jr. pulls into victory lane, let's go downstairs to Bob Fine, Bobby. Make some noise for Jimmy the Kid White Jr. and his frozen paint scheme. A brand new daddy for the second time. There's his beautiful daughter over there. Oh, well, that's not his daughter. Hey, Jimmy White, on behalf of Eddie and Connie Partridge, great job. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not used to you being in something so good looking. That's what everybody said, including tech, but we were in the car. My dad and I didn't know what to do. We asked my daughter. She told me frozen in spider webs. Uh, we brought it to Richie at G-Force. He did a great job with paint. Billy Smith did a phenomenal job with uh, graphics. And it hats off to those two. Because without those two, this car wouldn't look half as good as it is. And thank you very much to those two especially. Richie Giordano from G-Force out of Copac is actually here tonight with his daughter, Nikki. And, and, and that's what this is all about, the family. I mean, you and your dad, and now you, your kids coming into it. it, it it's a great family deal. Absolutely. I mean, to come here on a Saturday night and watch, you know, have the kids get into it and involved and, and have a car to go for. And I mean, luckily enough to be a fast car. But like I said, to have the kids get into it, that's what it's all about. And like I said, hopefully after the races, you know, the weather holds off and everybody can come see the car and stuff. How about some of the people you want to thank sponsor wise? A very big thank you to Roby. Um, he helped me hang this whole body in about a week, short notice, like everything else we do. Um, hometown Taxi, uh, Jim's Bisbee Pest Control. He did get all the body panels and stuff. Fortunately, my dad's not here, but he w was going to come tomorrow, whether we race or not. Um, you know, like I said, and, uh, you know, Hometown Taxi, Jim's Busy Bee, those are two very big ones. G-Force Collision and uh, Wild Child Designs. Jimmy the Kid White Jr. takes down another Grand Enduro Summer Sizzling, or Sizzling Summer Series event. Truck Enduro, the tailgate brigade for the trucks and their 40-lapper. Up next. <laughs> 